I've always wanted to know what a PGA Tour player actually does during a swing. If I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I've always been really confused about the release patterns. People do this and you know, you're like, okay, great. But then, is this flipping? Is this, what? what is it? But I have something here that's gonna clarify everything. I'm going into hack motion here, and I only found this out the other day. This is mind blowing, right? Wait till you see this. I'm gonna say, I'm showing you my screen right here, so start practicing. I'm gonna go to measure, okay? Not coaching, but measure, right? Hit continue, oh, turn on the sensor. That always helps. Now, select benchmark. I'm gonna go PGA Tour, right? Choose a swing. I'm gonna go long game. Now, there's the knuckles down. That's the, the one that they, prefer like kind of the every man one, but you can, right? You can pick all these tour pros. Now you'll, you'll be able to see this. You can driver swings, pitch and wedge. You'll be able to do bunker shots, beef, beef's eight iron, David Tom's major winner, his seven iron. So you can understand there's even LPGA tour players, but you'll be able to understand what they're doing with their hands. And wait till you see this, this is, this is mind blown. Okay, you can see there, the three different metrics that they measure. So we'll select that, we'll start it now. Really simple, when you're getting ready, it asks you to do that, do that. Then 45 degrees, we'll go there, there. Boom, and now you can see it moving. But just my normal shot, I've got an eight iron in hand in case you're wondering. Oh, that was beautiful, nice little draw. If I take some of the stuff off screen, first we'll, float, we'll focus on uh, this, the flexion and extension. So try and, you can literally with the graph, as soon as you see the graph, you, you can literally try and time it up with that. The rotation is the one that blew my mind. And this is the rotation of the arms, true impact. So how the pros are actually moving their arm through impact. They're doing it a little earlier than I was there and not as hard as I was there. So I need to ease up on that, essentially. To get the graph up, the, the graph is nearly the same as there, it's just my timing's a little off and a little harder than they do it. And then this one here is the mind-blowing one. This is this one. You know when you hinge your wrist, you can tell there that they have a lot more hinge for a lot longer than I do. I'm letting that angle go and I knew that from the videos. And that is something that I definitely need to work on. Nice try, dead, dead straight ball flight. Oh. <laughs> now I do have an issue, I'd, I'd just like to bring this up, right? I do have an issue with my arm. If you can see here, I have a major, when I stretch it out like that, so it's very hard for me to do that motion. I literally have the pattern. I just need to move it a little later again, which is so informative when you look at the graph. You can say, okay, just a little later, a little more angle. Oof. The strikes get crisper anyway. Okay, not as much there. If you want to find out more, there's a link down below. You get a little discount. That was nearly the time and I just shanked it. But you can see how coming to the range, that was a nice ball flight again. Dead straight. I'm really struggling with getting that uh, movement. But you can see how coming to the range can really help you with something like this that can measure. Okay, so this is the rotation of the arms. Oh, I'm getting the timing right. Now, along with the path work that I did last week, these balls are going much straighter because this is actually closing the club face for me, this rotation. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> and it turns into nearly a game, but you can now really understand how a tour pro is moving through impact. Even at the top of the swing, I'm, I'm too rotated. Better. 
Felt better. The instant feedback is amazing. <sighs> Shankaroonie. <laughs> Yeah, okay, now we move on to the other one. Obviously, these are things that I have to work on. And I presume when you get near these graphs, you're going to be hitting good shots, <laughs> you know, that way. But you'll also see your tendencies because it gives you your top, your address position. Not bad, though, through the impact zone. Actually, what was the address, top, impact? Like, you can see the change. If anybody watched the first video of Hack Motion, you can see the change already. Like, that's how quick it's changing it. See, what it's telling me there is I'm, I'm too, too flexed at the top from the start. So I'm working in the opposite direction. Like, I need to be a bit flatter and twisted on the way down. Much cleaner strike there. It's interesting, it's much smoother to pros, obviously. It's a lovely ball flight there. Now you can go on to the, the other version and show, you can go through the individual ones uh, in this manner. I like the graph because it shows the progression. I like seeing the progression of the move throughout the golf swing because it's that smoothness that we see in pro swings that I'm essentially aiming for and how jerky my graph is. That's what I want to work on. That's, that's what I want to change. Like you can tell there, like I'm flexing as soon as I start to come back. <sighs> Beautiful shot there. Yeah, look, that's much smoother. It's starting to get smoother with it. Now this is just one of them. It's the flexion. I do like this one. The rotation one, because when we were having the meeting, they were saying this, this, is, this is where the clubs re, uh, really get squared. That's like dead straight, moving a bit left on the wind. Nice ball flight. So at the top, I'm just too rotated. Like you can go in here with the graph and you can see where you are. And the pros are. Not far off, have the same kind of pattern, just different intensities. They're obviously rotating much harder through the impact zone where I'm not, <laughs> essentially. I need to rotate more through impact. That sounded good, didn't it? So there you have it, guys. Can I swing like a PGA Tour? Well, I can learn how they actually swing and that's, that's the thing, and I'm gonna be working on that for a while now. Fix and Fill is on. Again, if you're interested in this little gizmo, link is down below, there's a discount there for you. But uh, do subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Thanks for watching as always, and see you next time. Bye.